What's up guys, Sam Adams here, and today I'm just kind of getting some stuff off my chest. I just had some stuff I wanted to talk about, which is the basis of what YouTube is really here for, and I was thinking about 2014, and obviously I've been making videos talking about the best and worst of 2014. I made videos talking about what to look forward to in 2015, and in general recently, I've been kind of looking from an omniscient side of things down on the world of gaming and technology and stuff, which is kind of strange for me because normally I'm kind of right here in the here and now of it. But I was thinking about 2014 and I thought about how last year was completely and totally for the most part defined by the technological problems of most games. For instance, Assassin's Creed Unity. And um, I'm just going to be using this as my primary example, but I, for one, don't really know what the story of Assassin's Creed Unity is, per se. I know that the main character's name is Arno, but other than that, I don't really know. And I was thinking about this, and I realized that Assassin's Creed Unity was one of the most talked about games of last year, and that was solely because of its technological faults, where it went wrong. You know, there were no faces on some of the characters, there were frame rates dropping. Of what I hear, it wasn't the best Assassin's Creed, but of all of the talk and publicity that it got, I should at least know the basis of what the game is about. And uh, then I was thinking about the Master Chief Collection, and obviously I know what Halo is. I have a Halo action figure I'm looking at right here. I've got a Halo 5 Guardians poster right here. I know Halo, Al. <laughs> I know Halo, and I know what the basis of the story is trying to say. Not as well as some other people, but I do know the story. And so for those people that are just now getting into Halo with the Master Chief Collection and wanted to play that collection to experience the legendary campaign and stuff uh, for the first time, they might not have bought the game just because of the technological difficulties that it had in the matchmaking when it first came out. And that's sad. And then I thought, and then I continued to think about achievements and trophies. And um, how I play a game to get achievements and trophies sometimes. Like I was playing the Master Chief Collection earlier this morning doing the new Spartan Ops missions and I was pretty much grinding them out just to get trophies. In Destiny, I'm now grinding to get some trophies. And uh, although that's a new age kind of thing, and obviously trophies haven't been around forever, I think it's kind of all these experiences, the technological difficulties, focusing on those and the achievements, and all of a whole bunch of different other stuff is taking away from the focus of gaming in general, which is, or it should be, to admire a game for what it is, what the developer wanted it to be. When a game is developed, a developer makes the game because someone had an idea for a game. You know, whether it be Animal Crossing, whether it be Legend of Zelda, whether it be Infamous, whether it be Halo, whether it be Sunset Overdrive, people have ideas. And the idea behind games is to be another creative media for these people to put their ideas into and to show off to other people and the world. But, unfortunately, at you know, with these technological difficulties, that takes away from the experience. With the achievements and trophies, people aren't playing the games for the stories. People are playing with their headsets on mute, listening to Pandora, and getting these stories and playing them just for the trophies and not paying attention to what they're saying at all. And then on top of that, you've got events like E3 and PAX and Penny Arcade Expo and Tokyo Game Show, where people are focusing not necessarily on the story, but also on the graphic achievements you hear, on the music, on the different things that make up the game. And although I do support breaking down what makes up a game, I think that we need to take time in 2015 to focus primarily on the core values of games. I was watching a Boogie2988 video, and he was talking about his childhood uh, in gaming in general, and he didn't really go outside much, he played a lot of video games, he rented them from stores and such, things like that, kind of like a Redbox style thing, or a Blockbuster kind of thing back then. But um, he was really excited to get The Legend of Zelda, and he got it eventually, and he said that he was playing through it, and whenever there was announced there was another Master Quest, he pretty much freaked out. And he got really into that game. He played a lot of Super Mario stuff. And then I was thinking about my childhood. I played through the Sly Cooper games and Jack and Daxter games numerous times. Those were pretty much the main ones that made up my childhood experience. But I didn't play these games for achievements. If there was a problem with the game, which was there weren't very many problems with these games back then. Just because when a game was released, the developer didn't have the opportunity to 
patch it. But if there was a problem with the game, you just accepted it and got over it. Uh, you know, the graphics were what they were. You just loved it for what it was. And again, there were no achievements. I didn't really pay attention to E3 back then. But with all of these different inputs of thoughts, I guess is the best way to put it, all these different things taking away from the focus on the core values of the game, we're getting away from what the game is and the stories behind these games that make them worth playing and why we all love games in general. So I guess to sum up what this little rambling thing has been about is just in 2015 I think we should all take time to play the games for their experiences, what the developers originally intended and I've been an advocate of this in the past but I know that I've gotten a lot of new subscribers and I wanted to talk about it again. So in 2015 like I said try to enjoy the games as opposed to just um, the technological difficulties that are inevitable in today's society. And, uh, you know, if you want to play a game and it looks cool to you and you enjoy the story, don't care about what other people say. And, you know, in general, obviously, if the reviews are a 1 out of 10, I wouldn't recommend spending $60 on it. But play what you want and experience the games for what they are. And that is someone's creative idea that has come to life. So if you guys enjoyed this video, drop me a like down below. I know it's not exactly what I normally do, but I wanted to talk about it. And comment what you think about all the stuff that I said. What are your thoughts on this subject? And if you're new to the channel, feel free to head over to my main page. Check out some of my other videos. I post normal style videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday with some in between. If you guys want to see more of this, leave it in the comments below or like it up down in the ratings. And uh, yeah, again, I want to thank each and every one of you for sitting through this video, and I will talk to you soon. Peace.